Johnny Cage is asking how much coke was Herb Abrams doing and were, were other wrestlers doing it with him? I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, with a with a one that were to answer a lot, answer your question. Um, yeah, dude, it was again. It's early '90s, and not that it was you know ever okay necessarily, but it was certainly fashionable. It was always around. You know, it, it was plentiful. Um, here's a typical thing. I was at the Pento Hotel in New York, which is where Herb was shooting for a while. When I say shooting, I mean a TV, not this. He didn't do that, to my knowledge. Um, and I get a frantic phone call from him. Rick, you've got to come down to my room now. Now, what happened in those days, that's when Herb was really imploding, like, like we all saw in the documentary. I was a Disney, a pretty high level Disney executive at the time, like moonlighting as an evil pro wrestling manager. It was kind of fun. I'd get to do the you know Disney thing and go be Rick Golden, evil wrestling manager. And whenever I come to New York, when Herb would disappear or do something wacky, by default, not by appointment, I became the guy that everybody would come to to solve problems. That was just sort of my role in life and my role in, in the business. So I was getting that left and right. Herb called Frenick, you got to come to my room now. And I'm like, wow, maybe there's a problem. And of course, I want to try to help if I can. I get to his room. The second I get there, Brian Blair comes off the elevator and is at Herb's door also. I'm like, did you get a call from Herb? He's like, yep. And Brian kind of rolls his eyes because... He was a veteran of the Herb game at this point. I was kind of a newbie. So we knock on the door. The door cracks open. You see these like wild eyes, like doing this, looking up and down the hallway. He said, come on in. So he opens the door and we walk in. He slams the door behind us, bolts it, latches it. Then he goes, here. And he takes his big bag and throws it on the bed. And it was, I don't know, maybe two eight balls of cocaine. If, if you youngsters know what eight balls are. And uh, he's like, here, go ahead, go ahead. And we're like, Herb, what's the problem? What do you need? I just needed somebody to party with. And that's, you know, that was typical of how it was back then. And uh, I don't, I can't give you a list of who imbibed and who didn't. And if I could, I probably wouldn't anyways, unless there are people I know that are okay talking about that. Um, but uh, I would say not many people uh, escaped the uh, Herb Abrams rail train. Did he used to do it in the back with the boys at all, or, or that was just strictly at the hotel? You know, John, I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, Herb was not very discreet for sure. So I'm just, I'm imagining the answer. So I don't have a definite answer for that. Um, he was doing so much of it and so frequently, you know, if you have any experience with cocaine, I'm not asking if you do. I'm just saying this <laughs> in a statement. If you do, then might. you know that when you're on a big roll with it, it doesn't work like, you know, they'll do some now and leave it at the hotel. And then seven hours later, when I come back, I'll do some more. But it's it's with you, man. So I'd imagine it was probably going down at the show, too, although I, I can't say that with authority. Stoney420 said a eight ball a day keeps the doctor away. You agree with uh, Stoney there? Yes, absolutely. You know why? Because an eight ball a day, you'd be fucking dead. You don't need a doctor. <laughs> Did he ever pay talent with cocaine? Nikki asks. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Nikki. It, I suppose it's possible. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.